Dawn McGee, your nutrition evangelist here. I put the fun back into healthy eating. And today we're talking about mindful eating over the holidays. But first, speaking of fun, we have another Perfect Pairings event coming up on December 4th. And ticket sales closed yesterday, but there were a couple people who said, hey, I really, I meant to, can you open up ticket sales? So we did. We opened it up again until 10 o'clock tonight. But that's it. Then we're going to have to close it because you need time for the wine to get to your kitchen so we can have a fabulous cooking and wine pairing event. So anyway, if you if you think you missed out on getting tickets to the perfect pairing, ticket sales are open until 10 p.m. tonight. Click on the event here on my Facebook page and you will get straight to buying tickets. The cost of the wine is separate and it will be a ton of fun. So back to mindful eating. Let, let's talk about that. I've been hearing from a lot of people lately that, yes, this has been a tough year. There's been a lot of stress eating, which I'll address at another time, I promise. Um, and the holidays are coming up. And normally the holidays are another time where we kind of go hog wild with eating. We eat all of our favorite things. There are some traditional dishes that a lot of us and our families have that are not always on the healthier side of things. So what are we going to do in order to make it through the holiday season with our sanity intact, our waistlines reasonably intact, and still having fun and enjoying our family? Well, I've got a couple of quick tips for you today, and they all center around mindfulness. Um, which is not a topic I normally talk about, but it's so important right now to be mindful when you dive into Thanksgiving dinner, when you get to, if you're visiting family, uh, either live or on Zoom or in a, in a backyard, or if you're not, we're not. We're not having anybody over for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, nonetheless, we are still grilling a turkey and making mac and cheese from scratch because that was my kiddo's request. Um, so how are we going to approach all this? First of all, what is mindful eating? It means that you are aware of what you are putting into your mouth. You are not just walking by the bowl of whatever it is, grabbing a handful, eating it without even thinking. So first and foremost, we need to be aware of what we're eating. Um, that doesn't mean restrictive, but it means aware because... What happens when we are aware of what we're eating, we naturally start to think about, well, gee, do I really want that? And if the answer is yes, then absolutely have it. But then the follow-up question is, do I want all of that or do I just want some of that? You may have heard me say that I love some good chocolate but I really just need a couple of bites of some really good chocolate. I don't need a two-pound bar. That would not feel good. So number one on mindful eating is be aware of what you are eating. Number two is being aware of how much of it you are eating and whether or not that's really what you want. And, and that's where I'm going to stop for today because for most people, that's kind of a revolutionary approach to the holidays. Uh, we're, we're very used to just sitting down and eating and the go have seconds and have some more of this and have some more of that um, approach without really thinking about it. So my challenge to you this year, it's not, not intended to be restrictive, but to be aware of what you're eating. And if it is really and truly what you want, then go for it. And if it is not, then don't, and be super proud of yourself for being aware. That's all for today. I will absolutely come by next Thursday and wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and talk about how we are mindfully adapting our own Thanksgiving celebration. Um, until then, what I hope for you all is that you live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up your glass of wine with dinner. If you would like to hear more tips like these, please come by my group, Never Diet Again. It is free for anybody to join, and I look forward to continuing the conversation there. Until next week, ciao.